Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ijama. I'm a third year family medicine resident. Um, this video will just be a week in the life vlog inside and outside of the hospital. I am on inpatient family medicine this week. This is week three of what has been a very busy month. Um, but benefits of the this week compared to the last couple weeks is that I am handing over my um, pretending or third like official third year duties to my co-resident or fellow third year on the team and so she's going to take over for the next two weeks so now I get to kind of I mean I'm still going to be a leader on the team but I kind of don't like I'm just going to be assigned my own patients and just be able to go see them and live my life <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that because the responsibilities um they're pretty heavy especially in July where um, everybody's new, new second years, new interns, and so yeah, I am just done making my breakfast and I'm getting ready to head on into the hospital. I will catch y'all later. All right, so today was interesting. Um, today, uh, actually, the day was chill because I only had two patients. I actually ended up discharging them both. And then I was leaving. Like, I was going to be the first one to leave because it was like, I don't have any more business here. The admissions are going to go to the interns. Um, and I'm not the acting, I'm not the team lead this week. So I was leaving and I get in my car and I'm still logged on to the um, like group texting system for the hospital. And we get this message that one of our patients coded. Yes, coded on the floor. Like, they weren't even an ICU patient, although she was getting increasingly like, she was having some signs and we were gonna move bump her up to like prog status, progressive status, um, which is like the level in between being a regular floor patient and being in the ICU, um, you know, a little bit less nursing um, ratio. So we were gonna do that and then girl, she coded. So um, first time I've ever had a family medicine floor patient code. Um, by the time I got there, cause mind you, I had, <laughs> I was in my car. So, I mean, the rest of the team had addressed it, but I like was like, I was coming back for that. So um, she had already been through a round of compressions and got epi, I think, and then she was intubated. But I was just kind of helped in terms of um, just being an extra person, making sure we're thinking about what was going on, what should we order, um, communicating with the intensivist who, um, I'm a sh who I'm sure was like a first responder. Um, and yeah, so she's good now, now intubated and moving to the ICU. And then um, I finally left. So uh, I'm headed to the gym now and about to get this workout in. It's no days off July, like I mentioned before. So let's get it. me way longer than expected to untwist uh, so I don't even have time to really make breakfast I think I'm just gonna pour a bowl of cereal and head to the hospital because it's almost time for sign out <laughs> already oh we'll catch y'all later but the twists look good got an admission this morning who I went to go see I looked up all his stuff put his orders in went to go see him and then he tells me that he established care with a new PCP. And so in that case, he's no longer our patient. He no longer gets admitted to our service. <laughs> and the admission is foregone. So heading back up, gonna get ready for rounds. I only saw one patient today. And then I have clinic this afternoon. just finished with clinic I am just changed clothes um, in the bathroom one of the ED residents that I actually went to medical school with is having a um, birthday dinner today so finished with clinic um, pretty much done with notes and just changed clothes I'm going to head out for her dinner
This game has been so wild. Oh my gosh, my voice is like coming down because I've been screaming so much. But yo, crazy, crazy, crazy. My day is over it wasn't too bad I had a late admission I was long call today so I had to stay until sign out which was at 6 so we're just wrapping up with that but I had a late admission who was actually like a bounce back to our service um, and so his admission took me less than an hour to complete before like writing note putting his orders in, talking to my attending who was the evening attending who is also my advisor so we were literally just like you know I know her so well that she doesn't need me to give like a full presentation so wrap that up um, right at the time of sign out and now I'm about to head to the gym and I have the day off tomorrow Woohoo! Good morning, you guys. Today is Thursday. Um, it is my one day off um, this week. And then I'm working straight through the weekend and working actually for the next nine days straight till the end of this month. And I end on another 24 hour shift, like on the 30th or 31st, or whatever. So this month has continued to drag along and um, I don't know if it's just me, but it just feels like it's going by so slow. But it's my one day off, so I'm getting ready to cook breakfast. It's like 9.30, I slept in till like eight. And um, I feel good. I'm doing like some midway laundry since I'm gonna be working for the next nine days straight. I wanted to just go ahead and wash the scrubs and stuff that I wore. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a pretty chill day. I will be productive because there's some things that I need to get done, but I'm also gonna relax and um, not stress myself because I'm about to be stressed for the next however many days. I was just getting ready to sit down to eat my breakfast and I was gonna do some stuff on my laptop Why? and I saw my laptop well, it was like 15% so I was reaching into my bag to get my charger and I left it at the hospital I'm so annoyed I'm so annoyed and I don't know if I can I can't go this day without it so I'm gonna have to go to the hospital at some point and get my charger I'm so pissed but I'm not gonna let this ruin my day off. <laughs> I might as well just go get my charger now. Um, I needed to go to Walmart also today, so I will do that at the same time. I'll just go get it and then go there. I don't really need to do anything else, so quick trips and then I'm gonna come back home so I can relax and <laughs> move on with my day off. I just got back from getting my charger and then I went to Walmart because there was a few things I needed 
Um, I just got cleaning spray, just like multi-purpose for kitchen and bathroom. I need a new hand soap. I was down to doing this. <laughs> so I needed that and um, hair product. This is the Aunt Jackie moisture intensive leave-in conditioner. Um, I mainly use like Pantene Gold series stuff for my hair, but like daily, just like needing to like put moisture in. I like this cause it's super hydrating. Face wash. And then I am like, this is something I was, I had mentioned in my last video, but I clipped it out cause it was taking too long to talk about. But I've been um, like getting more into makeup products. Um, Basically, I'm just trying to grow up and um, get better at doing my own makeup. So I got um, bronzer. This was recommended from my older sister. I pretty much just do whatever she tells me to. And this is Physician's Formula. Um, there we go. So that's that. Um, and I also got one of their blushes too. I have never in my life bought bronzer or blush before, so that's exciting. And then um, that's pretty much it. So I'm just gonna put these things away and get on the couch because I'm tired. I wasn't supposed to go outside until later, but um, got a heat wave and now I'm tired. So I'm gonna um, just, uh, I'm just gonna chill, put my feet up. Took a nap on the couch, did a little laundry, or I was doing laundry earlier, so I hung up on my clothes. And now it's like 6.30. My day is slowly, slowly coming to an end. As you can see, I'm about to go to the gym. I made a smoothie, which does not look very appetizing, honestly, but it's just like, um, it's strawberries, mangoes, and a, bu a whole bunch of spinach. And I think the spinach kind of changed it up a little bit, but I mean, it tastes fine. I'm just drinking this real quick and then I'm going to head out to the gym. What's up y'all it is Friday evening I had a long day today I was supposed to be short call but um, my fellow resident um, PGY3 on service with me yeah okay that's yeah that's fine um sorry I got distracted on the phone what was I saying I was supposed to be short call but yes my fellow PGY3 was on 24 hour call um, yesterday. And so she was post call today. So um, after sign out, she left. And so I was the um, kind of leader over the team again today, um, which isn't bad. The list isn't too bad. Um, the daytime was fine, um, but we got two admissions at the same time. Um, they went to each, I had two interns. Um, and so by the time, you know, like we kind of did research, saw the patient, um, formulated plans for both patients with the both of them, um, and then called the attending to go over those plans. Um, I was there, it was like six o'clock. So basically, which is like the time that you would leave if you were a long call. So I left around six and then I went to the gym and I did a very lazy workout. And now I'm home, I'm tired. And I'm about to eat dinner and just take a long shower and just relax. And we go to bed because I'm working straight through the weekend, Saturday or tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. 
long call both days. I just need to get through this weekend because then on Monday I switch over to our OVP service, which is not as taxing, mentally taxing. So we're almost there. You're almost there. Two more days of um, inpatient adult medicine um, for this month. Just finished pre-rounding on everybody. Um, in addition to the patients that are on the list, I got um, I had to see this patient in the ED and write an HMP on him. My hospital system has something called hospital at home, which I don't really need to get into. But basically, if one of our patients is admitted to hospital at home from the ED, we still have to go see them and do an HMP as like the on-site provider. So that's what I had to do in the middle of also pre-rounding on all the patients, which is fine. So I have a few more minutes probably before we start rounds. So I'm gonna try to do this HMP really quick, even though this is a time that I would usually be doing all my progress notes, but it's fine. Back from Saturday long call. And I got Chick-fil-A because I deserve it. And it's been a long day and I just need to sit on the couch and just enjoy myself. <laughs> ah! The day went by pretty fast though, I'm not gonna lie, but um, still busy because I did that like admission in the midst of like rounds and then I had two other admissions during the daytime, plus getting work done and helping with discharges. And it's just uh, me and my intern for the day. So, and then tomorrow, Excuse me, I'm long call again for Sunday, but at least it'll be two third years. So like my fellow co-resident will be with me so I won't have to like see her patients and do as much extra work. So yeah, I'm about to enjoy my Chick-fil-A. I just got like a regular chicken sandwich without pickles and a fries, which I already finished the fries in the car on the way here, which I, mean, I feel like you just have to, like you can't just not eat them on the way home. So yeah, my fries are already done and I'm just gonna um, eat my sandwich. Oh, I'm tired, man. Oh, I'm ready for this inpatient life to be over. I am plastered on the couch after eating and I am watching highlights from the Olympics and um, pretty much how I'm going to end my night. I'm eventually going to get enough energy to get up and go take a shower and um, yeah, that's it. Oh, it's back. Jack eating with the moves in the street. My day is over. So it's officially a wrap on my last day on the adult inpatient service. And then tomorrow I start on the OBP service at our other hospital. So I'm excited. I'm ready to go home, um, get a little bit more sleep. And I got um, sushi from the cafeteria for dinner tonight because I don't have any food at home. <laughs> Thanks for following along with me this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye. I can't really wave because my hands are full, but bye. <laughs>